back to Valerie's home and gardens. Now I'm in the studio and what I want to do in this video is give you ideas for your bits of fabric. You know, sometimes you may do a project and you have a little piece of fabric or so you think it's a little piece of fabric left over and you figure this can't do anything. Well, if you do any sewing, there's lots that you can do with your bits of fabric. And I'll start with some pillows, right? Check this out. In my studio, I work with a lot of um, designer fabrics with the fabric samples and swatches. Now, you know, the swatches are the smaller pieces. This pillow was made from swatches. All I did was stitch them together to form a panel and then I put a coordinating back on the pillow guy. I use square pieces of fabric samples, slid them in half and just made a pattern on the pillow. And yes, I backed it with a coordinating fabric. One thing we have to make sure of when we are mixing fabrics is that we mix fabric of similar content. So you will never want to put 100% cotton with polyester or polyester nylon fabric because the cotton is sure to shrink and the polyester or nylon or blend of polyester and nylon will not shrink and therefore you will have poker in it. Another pillow, my friends. Now this one actually is made from smaller pieces of fabric. This in the middle here was actually a band that was at the side of the fabric panel. And when I made the pillows from the chunk of the fabric, I kept the panels because I knew that I could use the panels to make a lovely cushion. Coordinating back, with a khaki colored fabric and, and a different piece of fabric here and here, but they all go well together. If you look closely at the docks here, the colors here with the docks, you can see that these two colors are being pulled out from the panel in the middle here and that's what you want to do well you know what there is no well there are rules but they are made to be broken it's because it's all about your style and your taste now maybe i'll show you one more pillow and then i'll move on to something else let's get one done from right here this pillow was made from one two three different fabric samples but they coordinate nicely and so I put them together to make a sort of kind of like a body pillow. <laughs> yeah, and then I finished off the ends with some buttons. Placemats, guys, is another way you can use your remnants left over from your projects. Not only did I use the remnants to make the placemats, but I used appliques from another bit of fabric to add another dimension to the placemat. And check this out. These are coasters. I lined them with a stiffener and then I finished off the edge with decorative stitches. Here are some other placemats that were made from remnants of fabric. These ones were lined with a uh, um, beige fabric, but check out the detail on these placemats. I put pockets on them and the pockets were made from um, designer fabric swatches. And each placemat has a different color pocket. But all the colors that I use for the placemats can be found in the fabric that I made the placemats from. Check this out, my friends. 
check this one out. This is a caddy that I used non-woven fabrics to make. Now, if you've done upholstery and you have non-woven fabrics left over, this is what you can do, guys. I have, these are all pockets here, eh? All pockets. You can use this in your bathroom, your laundry room, your closet to put things. Yeah, I should point these out. These are grommets. I have a um, tool that I use to put the grommets on and then I hang these metal rings at the bottom so you can use these for jewelry like your necklaces it's about giving you ideas that you can diy i have a couple more of these that i made by the way this one i made a pocket a tunnel top or a rod pocket at the top so I could actually push a dowel through and then just hang it with um, cup hooks at the end. The other one here, I actually put grommets here so you can hang it on the cup hooks or you can actually put the dowel here. I have a pocket for the dowel here. So you have options, my friends. Pockets, pockets, pockets. This one, I didn't put any grommets. I didn't put any grommets at the bottom with rings, but it has several pockets for hairbrushes, combs. You could even put it in your office where you could put like a notepad here, a notepad there, pencils, pens. The sky is the limit. This one is a smaller one. It has two pockets and then it has two slats at the side where you could stick your pencil or your pen. So the caddies I showed you before, you hang on your walls. These ones, you can use them much like you use a storage basket. So I used one piece of designer fabric sample to make this one and then I used another um, vinyl at the bottom that I had left over from an upholstery project and you can make them any size you want to make them this one instead of cutting the fabric sample in halves I used a whole piece and another whole piece and then I joined them and use leftover vinyl from another project. Christmas is coming, guys. You can save your bits of fabric, combine them to make stockings, Christmas stockings. Now, you don't even have to hang these in your home. You can use these as um, basically gift bags to put gifts into to give them to your family and friends here's another one and if you don't have a piece of fabric that's long enough to do this you join two pieces or four pieces the sky's the limit with bits of fabrics so check out this floor cloth that i made from fabric samples as you can see i joined six pieces of fabric samples together and then I put a decorative trim on the ends just to add another dimension and I lined it with a nun's kid felt here's another floor cloth the trim on the ends and three pieces of fabric samples this one I didn't line but you can always if you don't line your floor cloth you can always just get a piece of rubber carpet liner to put under it wherever you put it and this one's a very 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 big one I don't even know how many fabric samples I used for this one but I joined them all like I joined them in strips and then I join the strips together. And then, of course, 
I trimmed it with a lovely brush fringe and backed it with non-skid felt. There are lots and lots and lots of different things that I have done with fabric sample. Another thing that you can do is make throws, decorative throws for your bed or for your couches. Oh, I should show you guys something because I actually have a video online that shows you exactly how to make these. Let me go grab it. I'll be right back. Here you go, guys. It's a valance, a fabric valance, and it's mounted to a piece of wood, but I use bits of fabric to make the different shapes and basically staple them on to the wood. You can check out that video. I think I have one or two videos about this design. So check it out, guys. If a light bulb has been turned on by this video, please leave me a comment below and give a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.